Welcome to the Disagreeable Nerd Podcast, a podcast where nerds from various ages and backgrounds get together to discuss movies, TV, books, and anything else that pops into their small, simple minds. Now sit back, relax, and let their ignorance wash over you. And welcome back to another Disagreeable Nerd Podcast. I'm your titular host, Gabby. I am your factoid host, host, <laughs> Sir Diesel. Hoist <laughs> in a way. Sorry. This is Deej. Every time. Smooth, as always. As smooth as a baby's bottom. All right, guys. <laughs> what you been up to? What's up? <laughs> is everyone doing okay? Everyone's safe? No. I'm in danger. Call 911. What's the number? <laughs> Oh, that's a good one. I hate when you acknowledge <laughs> that because it's like it's basically the same page. Never says anything funny. She's always dumb. I heard a dumb joke today. Okay, shoot, go. It was one of those dad jokes. Oh gosh. I said, uh, my uh, mother-in-law has been addicted to the hokey pokey for some time now, but things are starting to turn around. <laughs> I knew it was coming somewhere. Oh, my God. I actually got that. <laughs> I think that's how it went. It wasn't that funny, but no. it's funny that you think it's funny. Is that the song? Oh. Do the hokey pokey. Yeah, you turn yourself around. That's what it's, it's all, all about. 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 Hokey pokey. I think that's <clears throat> what they say at the end. Hokey pokey? No, I don't think so. No. Okay. That's like the remix by Pager. <laughs> Do the... What's the hokey pokey? What's the name of the song? Hokey pokey. Oh. The Hokey Pokey? Oh, it yeah. is Hokey Pokey. Is it Hokey with an L? Or am I totally no. just wrong on that? Hold the Hokey. Hokey. Or Hokey. I think hokey. it's just oh. Hokey. Like, that's Hokey. Pokey. H-O-K-E-Y. Hokey. And Pokey. H-O-K. With an L. No. There's no Polk. Why did, why did I think there was an <laughs> L involved? It's not related to Polk Salad. Maybe poke salad. Is it poke salad? <laughs> Do you I poke it? Poke salad. Or is it polk salad? Polk. Never heard of it. That's all folks. <laughs> <What? Wow. laughs> Can you think of some words you have to that? emphasize the L? <laughs> some, well, that's why I usually just cut it out. False. That's why I drop L's. <laughs> just drop it. Then you understand. Not necessary. Usually you drop them. You're trying to add them now. <laughs> It's not needed. <laughs> Trying to interject L's into words. I whole, don't know. The, the, the factoid holst. <laughs> That's where one her you L's went, Gabby. <laughs> they left the other words and just entered other ones. <laughs> She's rearranging the L's. I, I just feel like I could change the rules. I see an L on your forehead. Good one. <laughs> yeah. Good one, Gabby. Somebody wants one, two, to me. <laughs> So uh, I was going to tell you guys, I I watched this show for the first time. Gabby claims he showed me, but I don't remember. Called uh, Wallace and Gromit. Gromit? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Gromit? Gromit. Gromit. And um, I liked it. It was it was good. I, I didn't really, really think I would because I don't know. I don't know why, but I like Chicken Run. And uh, I maybe watched a couple episodes of Shaun the Sheep maybe when I was a kid. Um, but I didn't realize they were all by the same dude. Nick Parker. So, that was neat. Yeah, I like Wallace and Gromit. I used to watch it all the time. They're funny. I watched the one with the penguin. <laughs> Did you see the one? There's one where they're riding like some train and he's laying the track as fast that as he is can. The, is that's the penguin one. <laughs> that's yeah. the funniest thing. The penguin has a gun. They're riding Shoot. around. He's, they're slinging that track down. <laughs> yeah. Wallace and Gromit. That's good stuff. Gromit, not Gromit. 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 From it. They came out with some movies in the yeah. early yeah. 2000s, right? With like rabbits or something? I watched the... F- rabbits? I yeah, watched... I rabbits involved. I think I watched the mo- one of the movies first before I... I don't even remember where I heard of them at, but I stumbled up... They're from like the 80s, I think. Is it that old? I'm pretty no, sure. I Are you sure I looked it up? I thought I saw 80... Maybe not 80s, but early 90s. Perhaps. Wallace and Gromit, A Grand Day Out is 1989. The oh. Wrong Trousers. I think that's the one I've first seen. It's 1993. They're mostly in the 90s and early 2000s, but 
a grand day out was 1989. Wow. It was, it was good. I liked it. Older than I thought it was. It was funny. Nick Park. Oh, I thought I... Did I say Parker? You've been saying Parker. Of Ardman. Oh. Yeah, I think the wrong trousers was the first one I saw. Um, but it was good. Pants. It's good stuff right there. Uh, yeah, the Curse of the Were Rabbit was in two thousand five. But, um, but I don't, you know, I don't remember the first one I seen. But the trousers one seems like that for some reason. I've only seen that one episode with you know the penguin, but I plan on watching more. Check I was out. not a fan of claymation until Wallace and Gromit. Really? Like I just don't like it. It's it's usually creepy looking to me. <laughs> what? <laughs> like Please I, I don't know. Yourself. It's creepy. It's creepy I, to I me. I don't understand. I never liked Gumby. Got it. Even though that's one of my names. Oh, that's weird. I don't like the way. Did you cla- like Chicken Run? Yeah, I like Chicken Run. Um, that's, that's Mel Gibson, isn't it? I liked Chicken Run when I... I think I liked it anyway. It's been so long since I've seen it. I mean, you know, it's not my favorite. It was funny, but... Uh, Nick Park and Peter Lord was in on that one. Ooh. I, I enjoyed them very much as 45 a 45 million, and it made 224. That was a big hit. Chicken Run? Yeah. And, and I know you say it's creepy, but I actually like that style a lot, actually. And... Something about, about the about sound effects of that. I just remember creepy things being made with claymation. I mean, Wallace and Gromit aren't creepy, but creepy things have been made with claymation. The Nightmare Before Christmas. Don't like it. Uh, I've never seen it, but I mean, I've seen it's creepy. Clips of it, I guess. I don't think that's what's creepy about <laughs> uh-huh. it. I don't like the way I don't like claymation. That's so funny. <laughs> it just creeps me out. Oh, weirdo. I guess it's just a phobia. Maybe I'm claymatiophobic. You do have phobias of lar- large tires, remember? Hey, nobody needs to know oh, that. Oh, sorry. Sorry. That's uh, that's sensitive. <laughs> Let's just get it all out there. <laughs> but um, I haven't really seen a bunch of claymation. I mean, I mean, Chicken Run, Shaun of Sheep. And then- Flushed away. Flushed, oh my god, I forgot about Flushed Away. Okay, that was good. I like that one as a child. I, I used to go to my grandma's to spend the night, specifically on the weekends, just so I could watch Saturday morning cartoons, because she always had cable. We oh, never had cable. That's nice. That's sad. <laughs> <laughs> and then we would, I would wake up and watch Captain N and the, the, uh, Nint- the Captain N, the Nintendo Master, or whatever his name was. Mm-hmm. You never seen Captain N? No, you wouldn't have it seen it because it like familiar. was canceled after one season in 1993, probably. <laughs> wow. It's called Captain M. No, N like Nintendo. Oh, oh sorry. He was a oh. Nintendo dude, and I they used Captain Nintendo. Uh, I huh? I said I remember Captain Planet. No, Captain N was the Nintendo dude. Oh no, God! Well, Captain N was about the planet, man. <laughs> That's way before my time. I, oh yeah, I mean, yes, yes, I, yes, yes, honest, yes. I just looked it up, and I have no. I remember of this. the. Uh, this is really off topic. I remember the Alf. Like, like we have a topic. I remember the Alf cartoon, like Return to Mel Mac or something. I love that. I remember going to Safeway and buying this coloring book that was in 3D with the red and blue pictures, and you had to buy the red and blue glasses, <laughs> and it would bring out the Alf. <laughs> Uh, yeah. drawings. Um, I remember Popeye and his son had like a cartoon. Oh, okay. I started nodding. Then I'm like, wait, nope, nope, yeah. no, no. I just know Popeye. And that was also Popeye a long. And son. Like all these shows I watched, like had. And you ever noticed what was Popeye's son's name? Arugula. I don't know. Asparagus. Something like that. <laughs> uh, uh collard, Speaking of collard, asparagus, <laughs> mustard, anybody... collard, mustard. His son was mustard. <laughs> Colonel Mustard. <laughs> Um, Never mind. I was going to say something about asparagus and peeing, but no, nobody can relate to that. I don't think. I no. mean, yes, we know it stinks, but I don't I eat know, asparagus. No, no, like I'm saying, I don't have that chemical thing. Your pee you doesn't stink asparagus. when you eat asparagus. No. Well, then asparagus well, the story. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Moving on. Okay. <laughs> okay. She got it. She got it. <laughs> um, awkward. Okay, continue. Uh. So, like, I realized, like, all these cartoons I watched growing up, and I'm like, oh, yeah, this is... And then I look them up in retrospect, 
they all lasted like maybe two seasons. Maybe. Oh my God. They terrible. <laughs> <laughs> they were. But as a child, you didn't care. I was a you kid. You You're just, like, I was like super into it. You didn't care about like all these details. I was like to criticize it. The Ewok Adventures or something. I think it was like a season or two. Gummy Bears. <laughs> I've heard of that there one. There was a Gummy Bears show. There was a Gummy Bears cartoon. Um, Wait, did you watch that one show where there was like, it was like um, these weird little characters um, and like this moon would come up? The Dummy Babies or no, I can't remember. Care Bears? No, I'll have to, I'll have to come back on that one. I, I watched the Care Bears too. I can't remember. Hey, the coming. dummy baby? Not the dummy babies. I can't even remember. It's like these, they were like yellow, purple, and pink, and they looked weird. Teletubbies? Teletubbies. Are you, that's ask. like from, I was a grown man and married by the time the Teletubbies know. came out. Sorry, I'm, I'm talking about when I was a kid. Yeah, you're okay. There's a like a they were kind of creepy. There's a like, 20 year difference. Ain't gonna lie, them things were kind of creepy. Like, like come mm -hmm. on, <laughs> weird. <laughs> that one weird. Teletubby with a phallus symbol on the top of his head. <laughs> weird. <laughs> DJ's up froze up. Can you hear us? <sighs> oh, we lost our connection. All right, so this is a, a continuation of our. Previous podcast that got screwed, got screwed up because by your computer, my computer died because it sucks. It does suck. I only have a superior computer here. Um, one thing I did want to say, I never mentioned. I started rewatching uh, Stranger Things season three. Finally, and I never noticed just how much music they use in that show. Like. It was pretty much nonstop music. Like every scene had some music to it. It almost reminded me of Suicide Squad. Just the degree of music they use. I'm trying to think. Have I seen Suicide Squad? For some reason, I'm having like a yes, you did. Moment. Will Smith, Harley Quinn. Wow. Which I is saw the, it once. Is, I mean, it wasn't a bad thing, but like, I guess I just never noticed before. Like, wow, they really are relying on music for this uh, '80s feel. Well, but it works because but that's what makes it it like that's what makes it so innovative. I don't know. Innovative. <laughs> I don't think innovative music in no show has ever used music before. <laughs> that's Maybe innovative. that wasn't the right word. Maybe I was trying to say fun. You know, we're going with Nostal nostalgic, nostalgic. That's the word. Music. I still can't get over how DJ, your fun nostalgic Wonder Woman was. Unnostalgic. Um, yeah. Well, I mean, you know, they said it in the 80s. Like, that's a big deal. What about the, you know. It gave, like, Stranger Things, I get the 80s feel. But, I mean, we already discussed this on that podcast. But I was just thinking with Stranger that Things. That was a different kind of 80s they used. I guess so. It was like a uh, perfect 80s or something. Gabby, I just have to say, you with this new computer. Well, not, it's new, not really, but it's not your computer. Your face is like zoomed in now. Is that just me that notices? Oh, sorry. That? It's kind of like you look like an egg. Or egg maybe, head. Egg head. You yeah. Just me an egg head. Yeah, like an egg head. You're an egg head. Well, since we can't How remember what we were talking me? about previously, let's just move on I'm to sure one it, division. I'm sure it was hilarious. One division. Dang, Deej. Your sound. Is that just me? Uh, it's the, he's turned up too high on our end. Okay, because it's like... Remember to adjust. Out. You have the... You, you always complain, but you never adjust. I don't know which one is... is <laughs> you literally just adjusted it like no. five minutes ago. So now you're, his. He... he <laughs> I thought you said we needed to adjust his sound. That would be whatever sound... Is this better? No. no, you don't. You don't adjust anything because you're nice and clear. It's just the way it sounds over here. Okay, say something. Hello, how are you today, Paige? You just need to turn it down. It's so low now. You can't hear him. I mean, I. Oh yeah, okay. <laughs> it's just like really low. Hello. So oh, now I can hear him. Now it's fine. That's because you he just me? now started talking. Sorry. <laughs> Stop attacking oh me. I can't hear his thinking. <laughs> I mean, some of that little static sound 
sounds on here, but it doesn't come through in the actual recording. It's just I have the cheapest setup possible. Okay, one division. One division. So, WandaVision. quick question: Does anyone know what one division is about? <laughs> <laughs> I guess that's not a quick question, but mm. like, is there a synopsis of the story? Are you one? Uh, what are you talking about? Are you one of like our? Like, is there a like, synopsis? Do you think they've of already the explained how the whole show is going to go? No, like. Just what is the show like? You know, like, you look up. All right, I, okay. Let me. So speak. let me just look up one division on the internet. Oh, the synopsis of the show is pretty much an, a, like a description of the episode so far. It's not like a like every episode is different. Like you know, I was just saying like they're living together. Yeah, like a thick bin dyke type show. Kind of well, this thing I saw on. Uh, but the internet said, not right. it said that the the Disney Plus show is telling a story not about an epic struggle to save humanity, but about one woman's efforts to save herself from her grief. So this is post, obviously, he's dead. Yeah. So is this just her creating all this stuff in her mind? Well, it's either that or somebody's got her hooked up to something because you kept hearing somebody's voice. Yes. Like and it's glitching. Wanda. Like. So I guess that Spagging. I guess that's the show is us trying to figure out what's going on. Yeah, right. So that's Vision's why dead. Go. that's why it's I don't think it's a show for everyone because people that either a aren't into the Avengers Marvel they're not going to know any of the ba- like I feel like you have to know the backstory to this show or else you're going to be like what the crap is this black and white Dick Van Dyke show. <laughs> That they that, all have superpowers. That or feels like two lost. superpowers. Yeah, that's what I said. It's like Dick Van Dyke meets Lost. Can't really agree with that because I've never seen Lost, but maybe you have. Well, it's just one of those, you know, <clears throat> a different mystery analogy. box shows. It's a mystery box show. Like everything's like, what's going on now? What's going on this episode? What's going on in this overall arc? What's I see? Where, why I know are what you're on saying. This island? Yeah, it's kind of like Mandalorian in a way. Well, yeah. In the beginning, we're like, "What the heck? Just what what, what the heck is thing. this child doing here? What's his purpose?" And you know, it's kind of what I feel. So it's black and white. I like black and white. Did y'all watch both episodes? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Well, it's not black and white anymore. Well, with the ending. Well, got you, <laughs> got you. Touche. Thanks, DJ. Yeah. It's going through the uh, different eras of television. I kind of want to keep it black and white, though. I don't want them to no, change. I'm good. You're good? No. It started, what, in the 50s? And then it, it looks ended fi- in the 60s? It looks 50s. like Going into the 70s, the next episode, I guess? I, I don't I don't know. I, I guess... I, I, I would I, say, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know how it's going to operate. We're yeah, going to talk about a show like that we know nothing about. So, Let's more talk about our impressions of, like... The episodes, like, did we enjoy it? Like, you know? Okay. Yeah, we did. Yeah. Yep, we did. We did. <laughs> Show's over. Okay. Oh, you and Char both liked it. Yeah. Uh, I didn't know how I was going to feel about it because I'm Cause not it's, a huge... Because it's weird. Well, for one... I'm not a huge fan of Wanda and Vision in general. Right. For one, when we talked about all the top shows that were going to be on HBO, we were saying... Why do they need to make a show with Wanda and Vision? But yeah. we were like, we're going to watch it anyways. I'm like nobody cares. But I said I was skeptical walking in, but I, I like how it's going so far. Yeah, I was a little t- tad skeptical myself, but I kind of like those two together. I don't know. <laughs> I yeah. really, I had no idea what to expect. I really didn't know they were going to like hardcore stick to the sitcom thing. I thought it was just going to kind of like go in and out of whatever is going on. But no, they're sticking to it, it's at least kinda, so far. It's kind of cool, though. I, I enjoyed it. Don't get me wrong. Yeah. Yeah. It, it first, is, it, it took a little bit for me to get used to. Like, I was like... Eh, yeah, when it first started, it seemed kind of a little too corny. Yeah. Weird. But, but it got uh, better. It was like the second half of the first episode, I think. Um, when they sat down to the dinner, <laughs> the first episode. That was funny. And, uh, you know, it kind of kicked in the gear a little bit. Then he starts choking, and then... That woman's like, stop it, stop it, stop it. And then I started kind of freaking out. Yeah, that was out. weird. I was like, what the like heck? Like, the whole dinner scene is kind of when it kicked it up a notch for me. I'm like, okay, now I see where they're going with the chef. Stop it. I was so good. I was like, what the stop heck it. going on? Oh, Foreman's stop mom. It. And then he, uh, Vision saves him, and then all of a sudden everyone's laughing, the sitcom laughter. 
It's like, what the heck? This dude just almost died. <laughs> it's yeah. like they, they didn't have a laugh track in the second episode, did they? No, it was in the second one. Oh, I, I noticed really? it in the second. Oh, I guess I didn't notice it. The second one was like the I don't know, like the head of HOA lady or something. Remember? She's trying to no, get No, no, I remember the episode. I just don't remember the laugh track. Yeah, it was there. Also, like, you know how like certain scenes had like colored items? Mm-hmm. I I don't know if that was part of the mystery or Well, I think it's like they usually do that to like draw importance to that item, like that means something. Oh, okay. I don't know if it had if that was like a thing in black and white TV shows. I don't know a whole no. lot about black and white. No, like usually when they film something in black and white, they'll colorize something of importance or whatever. Mm. You know when I watch it should get to be black and white because they had no other option. <laughs> oh well that well well, obviously. But whenever I watched <laughs> that Dorian Gray, what did you say? Did you... I said they didn't highlight color in those. There wasn't an option to do that. Obviously. But whenever I watched Dorian, I don't know, was it? Yeah. Not to you. Okay. Okay. <laughs> You're getting somewhere, aren't you? Go on. The painting, they showed the painting colored one time. It was weird. And then the rest of it was black and white. They, they blew their whole budget. Do you remember that? Painting. Do you remember that scene? Mm -hmm. I'm like, why did they just show the painting colored in this oh. black and white film? And now the rest of it is black and white. I don't know. It seemed odd. I don't know. That's don't... why I said that it was that a thing. Because that movie had, the you know, it was re recognizing this painting in color, not black and white. I don't know if it was a budget issue, like if colorizing the film was a lot harder or whatever i don't know hmm. it says this laugh track was not a laugh track it was actually filmed in front of a live audience really episode two no uh, all the, of it the first one. Oh, whatever they're laughing in that's a live audience that's hmm. pretty cool i wouldn't have expected that uh, it sounds very so it's live on a track -y. yeah it's, it's like according to a featurette as you can see the first few episodes of one division were actually filmed in front of a live studio audience like, it was super Dick Van Dyke. Like, the whole living room looks just like the Dick Van Dyke living room. Well, not just like it, but very similar. Hmm. That's cool. I like all the, like, jokes uh, Vision has or obliviousness he has. <laughs> I don't know. And then it the, cracked me up. Then the second episode, the gum gums up his machinery. That was pretty awesome. That was hilarious. Like, that's so weird. Like, why is... Why would gum, like, he doesn't really have gears, <laughs> so why is, why is gum doing anything to him? Why does he have an esophagus and, like, anything? He doesn't eat. Hmm, good point. Yeah, that is weird. I was wondering, you know, like, most of, most of these shows, like, when they don't eat or they're, you know, artificial life form, like, Data could eat, he could eat and drink, but it would just, uh, I don't know how he'd expel it, I guess. You know, a simulated rectum. I don't know. <laughs> what? Yeah, I guess the androids on a an alien. Yeah, they did felt they actual pain. I feel like they did. <laughs> well, we're talking about eating. Well, I'm saying I feel like pain uh, goes with eating at the same time. Like, you know, if you feel pain, you can eat. <laughs> That's how I feel about you it. Can eat. You can feel pain. You can eat. <laughs> and don't you bite me on That's this. What I just talking. Oh, do you feel pain right now? Yes. All right. Go ahead and eat. <laughs> I must eat my pain away. That's a weird connection you made there. Well, I did it, didn't I? <laughs> so I just they have kind a of nervous assumed... system. They have a digestive system. <laughs> That's, I mean, why have, have one? Or the, I mean, you got to have all of them. I don't know. <laughs> Anyways. Was, why, are you, Gummy, why are you staring? <laughs> <laughs> my god all right so effects wise there's not much effects other than the colorization and her making things float around like you know i dream a genie style or whatever okay right. wait a minute okay so i don't know a whole lot about wanda's powers but i know i didn't realize she could change things like you know what i mean no explain so for example whenever they were on the talent show he started flying and she like got made a rope 
for him to pretend like show the audience that he wasn't really flying. Like, I didn't know she could make things happen like that, like make objects appear. Well, yeah, in the movies, I see what you're saying because it's most of the time depicted like a energy blast or yeah. telekinesis, but it's like telekinesis, yeah. But uh, I think in the comics, she has the power to manipulate like matter, time, and space. So oh. maybe they're kind of going to that. I see. She's I get like one of the most powerful. Yeah, people there is right. She's got uh, reality manipulation. Yeah, th- I guess that's why she had the, the stone. Or pr- to protect the stone in a way. So, like in a, I think a recent arc of like X Men, she, I think House of M, she just made like all <laughs> mutant powers non-existent. That, that was not recent. That's about twenty years ago. <laughs> House of M. The House of M is old. I remember looking it up in, uh, when Hastings was here in Paris. Weird. Because that's the <laughs> <that's laughs> reason comics have been around for 70 years. That's, so. the, that's the way. That's how I know her, too, is House of M. And I've never read it. I just heard when it came out, it was a pretty big comic. So, Well, did they not just reboot it or something? I feel oh, like they probably. just did another one. I'm so sure they did. That's power- all they ever do. Is she as House powerful? of M is a 2005 comic book storyline. Wow. Is she as powerful as Charles X? A lot of well, people are more powerful than him. Or, it's, it's different, but. Yes. I know. I just. I mean, Gene Gray. I mean, all he Charles, can do is yeah. mess with Well, your I mean, mind. not him, more like Gene. Why is. Why, why is he the boss? Like, every time I, a movie comes Who's around, him? like, he's always trying to. Basically, he's the balance. It, of what? Oh, well, I was going to say. There's the extremes that of the uh, resistance that want to kill all of everyone. The extremes of the resistance? Or no. The Is this ex- Star Wars? The extre- no, you can have resistance in different worlds. Resistant like, bands? Yeah, like, I mean, the mutants that hate humans that treat them like crap want to kill all the humans and the mutants that like the humans. It's like Charles X is like the, okay... I get that. I get that, but we can't do that. We have to be balanced. What's it? But what's that got to do with his powers? Oh well, I don't know. I was kind of getting philosophical there. Hold up. Were you? Just, I don't call that talking about your butt. You don't know <laughs> anything. Oh, I got some crown, Deej. <laughs> Ooh, Trash. Black. Yeah, I don't like crown. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Charlotte doesn't either. So I don't know how you drink it straight. I don't it's know. It's fine. I don't know. It's something weird. Like I tried it straight, and I, I just didn't like it for well, some reason. You don't have to. I don't like Canadian whiskey. All right. Well, one division. One division. We seem to all like it. Yep. Yeah, I'm excited to see where it goes next yeah. week. Same. So there's not any more episodes right now. There's oh, just two. Also, no. she's pregnant at the end of episode two, right? So yeah, that was. Which we, oh, we forgot to. Even we kind of that. saw that coming, like from little previews and stuff. But so, is it going to be how many episodes? Anybody know? Eight. Ten, eight. I assume it's like eight or something, like eight. Mandalorian, maybe. Mandalorian's yeah. eight. I think eight's a pretty good number. Yeah. yeah. It keeps it. Oh, I also like runtime. I like the. I like the short runtimes. I was just about to say I like. I don't like that. I, I, I would prefer them to be longer. Hmm. I don't understand the credits. Why are the credits like seven minutes long? Yeah. Like the episodes say 32 minutes and then you get like 23 minutes of runtime and like 10 minutes of credits. I'm like, what the heck? Is there going to be like well, a ending scene or something? No. <laughs> but no, just, there's not. <laughs> it just shows you how many languages has been translated into. Which is what I don't like. It's like you're only giving me eight episodes and each episode is only 20 minutes. I kind of like it. I mean, it's it one division because th- this is not something I'm super interested in. And also the format they're using being a 50s, 60s sitcom. I mean, it's going to be 20 minutes. Well, that's how the Mandalorian was, too. Like they were really short episodes. Sometimes yeah. they were like 30 minutes, but sometimes they were like 20, mm-hmm. 30 or something. I, I just I like a compact story. Cuts, I think I'm I don't. both like Cut I, to the sometimes gist. like it, sometimes don't. I balance you guys out. <laughs> like Charles X. for longer episodes yeah. if you're not going to give me that many of them uh like like okay like Sherlock for example three episodes a season right 
but yeah, they're three or four episodes hour each, like two and hours. a half. I can see your reasoning in but, the short episodes and longer time. But then you get those long shows, like back in the day, on any network TV show, like Lost, and you had five seasons of 20-something episodes, and it's like, literally, they just... Oh, what's Bob up to on the east side of the island? And he's doing nothing. According to the internet, has nothing lost to do with the story. Lost, huh? Lost is she lost. She said, "Lost is lost." Because uh, you're the one that told me that they never could figure out the ending, and then just kind of went. no. Well, they made crap up on as they went. Yeah, like it was not. It was garbage, right? Is what you said. No, or you it's c- like considered one of the greatest shows of all time. No, actually. I'm talking about the ending. Not the beginning. Well, yeah, yeah. You the said they stupid. just kind of purgatory, like it didn't make any sense. Whatever. That's what I hear because I've never seen it myself. It doesn't sound good. That's why I said. That. Well, I would watch it, but I don't want to watch a thousand episodes. I did. I watched Smallville for in a year. <laughs> you watched. I don't know how you did that, but I mean, I've watched it over the like course Superman. of ten years. I like. I do too, but I, mean, I when I see a show that's like. More than 50 plus episodes from beginning to end. I'm like, nah, I'm out. It depends on what it is. I can't It depends what much. it is, though. Like, if it's all soap opera, I probably can watch it. It was soap opera and Superman. <laughs> then I could watch it. So uh, I'm not saying I want more episodes. I'm just saying I want a little bit longer if you're going to make it so little. Like Stranger Things. Yeah. That's like perfect to me. You don't get that many episodes, but they're pretty decent length. Right. Were they really like 45? Yeah, 45 something to 50 like minutes that. or something like that. Yeah. I, um, I forgot to tell you guys. I, or well, God, we started it, but we rewatched Ready Player One. And how was it? I just love that movie. It's good. I, I yeah. don't know if you guys feel how you guys feel about it. I feel like you said it's okay, but yeah, I just right. like it. It's just good. Lots of 80s nostalgia in that yeah, one. and I just like all the effects, the graphics. Good, stuff. because that's the movie. It's awesome. That's all it is. It's so cool. What do you like about it? I like, I don't know, like that Wade atmosphere. Watts. I don't know if that's like the word. Also, there's teenagers <laughs> trying to fight the world and make peace and change the world in this Oasis world, too. It's cool. I enjoyed it. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, I, mean, I can I, never get somebody to be like, I don't like it, too. What did you not like about it? All the effects. You didn't like the effects? It was too much. What? No. I want a little bit more trying too hard. reality. Really? No. Well, we'll I, see I, well, how our I, brains think This is what I said. I, I like the movie way better than the books. The books were, oh my God. Like just, oh, 80s reference. Here, you get it. Here, you get it. You get this one. Galaga, Pac-Man, you get it. Donkey Kong, you get it. Dungeons Dragons, you get it. I mean, I was, I was so over the books. The movie, well, the movie is much what, more easier to get through. What you didn't like, Halliday's Avatar? What was it? I mean, it's like a wizard looking dude. Oh, I mean, I, I just I don't say know that's that his book. avatar. Hmm? I mean, I, yeah, I don't, I don't was know he, what you're referencing right now. Oh, I was just saying, was he too much like the in the book or the movie? No, the, no, I've never read the book. I'm talking about the movie. I don't know. I was saying I like the movies more than the books. No, I was just kind of <laughs> referring back to. <laughs> I was what refer- are you talking about? I was referring back to graphics and like how you said it's too much. So I'm like, was that too much for you? His his avatar wasn't too. I don't like any his- of the movies that are like. It's like watching freaking Transformers Five. Yes, yeah. too much going on. So at once. so like so okay overload. okay. I, yes. sensor- oh, okay. I use sensory overload. Okay, I understand that. Um, it's like you can have all this crap going on. And it could be really awesome, but I can't see any of it. All I can see is like one thing at a time. I can't concentrate on 50 things on the screen at once. I guess that means y'all are inferior because I didn't feel that. I, I You caught every single character on I, screen at all I times? I felt <laughs> like it was she was not too much. I felt background. like it was not too much. You saw Joker and Harlequin quist kissing in the club? I didn't have to see all that. I don't care about that. <laughs> exactly. You didn't need it all. I don't. Too much. But no, False. You think it's too much. It's not too much for me. Too much. Oh, I hate DJ. It's over. It's your, over. Your opinion is wrong. No, false. <laughs> Let's end this. It's your opinion. This is my opinion. It's okay. It, it, I know it's okay. I can't. All right. Take I it in hate stride. DJ so much. Take it in stride. I also watched uh, Soul. Did you see Soul? 
Soul? It's the new oh, Pixar the cartoon. Movie. No, I didn't watch it. No, I did not. It took me a little while, but uh, it, the ending is really good. It's, is that on, mm, it's on Disney Plus, right? Oh, Disney it's Plus. Disney Plus. So it's, it's like Pixar. Jamie oh. Foxx and Tina Fey. Oh. And that's right. It's really good. Sorry. When you said solo, I swear to God, I was thinking Han Solo for some reason. <laughs> I was like, dang, what? So what? Where am I? Han been? Solo. You're talking about like the soul of your body. Okay. I got you. Yeah. Because it's basically no, it's like, about jazz. Well, it is. But he also I, like dies and goes to heaven or whatever their translation of it is. Purgatory. No, no purgatory. not the same thing. Stop saying purgatory. I just like saying that word for some reason. <laughs> it has nothing to do with the show. Okay. Sorry. <laughs> But it is like it's a lot of like you know these whatever p- different people have their philosophies and beliefs about <laughs> what happens to your body post death. But uh, Jamie Fox goes up to heaven. It's not even heaven. It's weird. Like you just gotta watch. It. I feel like it's like I don't even know. No, you so, don't know. <laughs> I, I realize now. I know what you're talking about. Like the movie because I had came in when you were watching it, and I remember enjoying it a little because bit. Tina Fey plays like like some sort of consciousness basically that has yet to come to earth and be born. I don't know. It was weird. Do they not explain it? They probably do, but it's it's just like this one of these movies. Basically it's like the thing of the movie is don't think that you are trying, you're here to like his thing was to be the best jazz musician ever or like fulfill like some sort of, but it basically is just enjoy your life. Hmm. It's like the ultimate thing of the show. But they put music to it, and it's very nice. And there's some good funny parts. It wasn't the funniest Pixar by any means. <laughs> but it does have really good... Trent Reznor did the soundtrack. It's really good. I don't know who that is. What? Nine Inch Nails. Trent Reznor. Oh, really? He also did the soundtrack for Social Network. One of the best soundtracks ever. False. I have not... I, 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 when I watch Social Network, I never... Ever I, and I pay attention. Did not think. Oh, I like Social Network soundtrack. It wasn't that. Um, You're an idiot. It wasn't that rememberable. I've never even seen the movie, so I can't talk. Um, Social Network. I don't. Understand, I don't understand why you it's like really, this movie so much. It's excellent. Like, what is it that you like about? I have it? no interest in the story. Yeah, I, I wouldn't either. I didn't. But you watch the movie, and it's so well done. It's so well written. Mark Zuckerberg is such a weirdo jerk, but yet he's kind of fascinating. And it's just how narcissistic he is and arrogant, but it's also kind of like, well, he kind of earns it because he's like the smartest guy in the room everywhere he goes. And it is just, it's an excellent movie. And I was with you, DJ. I did not think I would like it, but I I just try to watch it. That's all I can say. Just try to watch it because the soundtrack is really good. And there's not a whole lot to it. It's just, you know, the. <laughs> I'm just watching just Pages Space while like you're talking a, about the soundtrack. What are you talking about? I'm, I'm telling you, man. I got to listen to the soundtrack now. It's not like a. It's, I mean, it is it's a like soundtrack. Gladiator. It's not like music I would listen to just on its own, but added to the movie, I really liked. Like, it really sets a, like, a tone mm, for the movie. I see. I got you. Yeah, I, well, I mean, it's it's. I'm not a big fan of uh, what's his name, the actor. I know you're not. Oh, I don't yeah, know you're saying Bert. that. No, I don't either. Jesse, is I that his name? Jesse Eisenberg. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I kind of don't like him either. Something about him just well, throws he's me off. Kind of, I don't know. Uh, he's <laughs> like the character he plays in the movie, pretty much. Pretty like much. even in some of his other movies I've seen, I feel like he acts like that, like in all his movies, or I don't know, like that one now or never. Or, it's now or never. He's like a man, magician. I honestly think Batman Can versus you see Superman me now? Is that the name would have been so much better without him in it. Oh, God, yes. Yeah. I think just taking him out or replacing him would have made that movie 20% better. <laughs> 20%? 20% better. Because it's already, it's, it's, you know, it's a yeah. 20% better. You know I think it would have been 30% better. Make Martha not a thing. Yeah. Uh, extra 10%. Extra yeah. 10%. I, I agree. It would have brought the movie from like a 40 to a 70, and that would have been perfect. A little more Wonder Woman? More Wonder Woman. I think that Another was 10%. when she came in, that was... A little more guitar riff and heavy tones. <laughs> <laughs> I love that music. 
for Wonder Woman. That sounds awesome. Her intro music. I get chill bumps sometimes. All you right. say chill bumps? Yeah, sometimes I get chill bumps with music in like Ugh. a scene. I prefer so. goosebumps. Chill bumps just sounds weird to me. Okay, goosebumps. Sorry. You don't have to say it. I'm just saying that's what I prefer. <laughs> Why do you prefer goosebumps over chill I don't know. Every time somebody says chill bumps, it just sounds weird. I don't know. Like I've always said goosebumps my whole life. So hmm. I think I've said goosebumps and chill bumps. I switch out sometimes. It was What's the difference? Um, Is it the same bump? Yeah. Well, when I think of goosebumps, I think of the movie. Some people say <laughs> the goose old flesh. movie. Goose flesh. Yeah, because it's all like, like pimply, an eighty-year-old like thinking of like a bird that's been plucked. Yeah, that's where it comes from. Goosebumps. Oh. Oh my gosh! I was like literally googling chicken feet today, <laughs> and they had <laughs> that Why? little bumps. Um, why was I Googling that? Hold why, on. why would you not? <laughs> I was Googling chicken feet. I was actually fasc- Is that your new fascinated. Fetish? Well, no, freaking no. I know you're into feet. Are you into chicken feet? I am now? not into feet. I do perf- <laughs> I like okay, to s- acknowledge nice feet. What's this doing for you? <laughs> you like that? I can't stand DJ. You like that? No, I, like I was just. <laughs> you like that? <laughs> Let me speak. Is giving you goosebumps? Uh, me doing this? <laughs> Stop! <gasps> I just didn't... I didn't know people ate chicken feet, so I was, like, fascinated by this thing. I'm like, what? That's we, a thing? We sell them at Walmart. I, what? I thought that was, like... How do you eat that? I, I don't know. I was I thinking. I was thinking. I was pig's feet. I've never attempted it. I know. It. I thought they didn't have much meat for some reason. Like, little skinny Maybe chicken Maybe just feet. gnaw on it. I don't know, but I'm kind of wanting to buy some now. It's like chicken jerky. Figure it out. Please don't. <laughs> I might do it just because now. Please don't. All right. Well, until next time, whenever that is, I'm Gabby. This is Shard Dizzard. <laughs> no. <laughs> this is this is Deej. Later, dudes. Later.